Okay, so after we got the rights to the property, Jeannie and I had a lot of ideas, but obviously Ed is an incredibly creative person. So, and we had told him from the beginning that we wanted him to work with us on this. So, uh, once we got some of our notes together and some of our thoughts, we invited him up to our studio. Now, as we said, it's only a couple hour drive. Uh, actually, we might have even flown him up, I don't remember, uh, from Boca. Uh, so, he came in and spent a week with us here at our studio in Orlando. Uh, we put him up here at the house and we fed him and, and I, I gotta tell you, there's nothing more fun than just being creative with really fun, creative people. It's awesome. So when Ed came in, we would sit downstairs at, at our big uh, breakfast room table, um, which overlooks the lake and the waterfall that we've got. I'd, I'd never participated in anything like that before. So I was kind of like, all right, let's just have fun with it. and Let's see. And I remember now I remember that that time spending up there with you at your place. And you got you got a totally cool backyard. You still got that waterfall and yeah, all that still got jazz that. going on like ultimate creative space just to sit around in the back and talk and brainstorm and you and Jeannie you're so collaborative and I I remember that just being so collaborative and your heart behind it so just going back and forth and kind of like man I'm just kind of along for the ride but I'm being asked all these great creative questions and I'm getting so much input it was awesome it was yeah I totally felt the chemistry and hence why we're we're sitting here still working together today, man. We just worked through the whole thing with Ed um, for probably about five days or so and uh, bounce ideas off each other and Ed and I are sketching and showing each other sketches and Jeannie's writing down things. So when we got together with Ed, our task was to develop his idea for a comic book into an episodic TV series. So we had the best time doing that, by the way. The three of us just got along beautifully and we just allowed each other to come up with the craziest ideas and brainstorming and, you know, knock them around and figure out what we were going to do. But to do the episodes correctly, you have to work on the characters first. And that's really where we spent the, the majority of the time. And literally by the end, we had flushed out, uh, flushed out the characters. We changed a few characters from what he had in, the, uh, in his treatment. We made Raz a lot older. We made him more gravelly. Originally, Raz was a much younger character um, and kind of hip in the factory. Uh, we turned him into this grizzled old uh, general, which is a new aspect that we had added to it. Um, and uh, kind of made him a father figure to Matt. And we started working out Matt's family, his mother. He, uh, we decided that his father had died. We hadn't worked out why or how. There was no reasoning for it yet. We just wanted him to be from a broken family. Uh, we had a younger sister, which we didn't really flush out a whole lot at that point. Um, of course, we had his best friend. And then we really worked on the goo bubbles. Now, uh, he had goo bubbles in uh, the factory and he had some thoughts of it and we really flushed it out on on you know we don't kill them we disrupt them you know when they splat all of a sudden they're disrupted and they're no longer an issue uh, and then we started adding in other goo creatures which I think he had some ideas on and we we added to all that so it was just a week of being really creative so when he left uh, what he had a list of drawings that he was going to do to flush it out uh, to really update the artwork and do some finished art we could put into our treatment and Jeannie and I were working on uh, f uh, finishing up the writing, writing the treatment and then we would pass the artwork and the writing back and forth between us as we were going on. But that first session, at first it really set the fact that the three of us could work really well together and we, we really developed uh, the core of what to this day is still Dream Factory. Now like I said, it's, it's grown a lot. The depth of the story and the universe has grown a lot uh, since we did the deal back in 1999. Um, but, uh, but the core was still there and the friendship and the way we work together has only built since then. Mm -hmm.